Memory Management for the RCA Tablet If you want to check the memory space, select the Settings icon. Then select Storage on the left-hand side. Total Space, Internal Storage, NAND Flash, SD Card, and USB Storage will be visible. You can also see the internal storage status by selecting Apps on the left-hand side. There are some tips to save the tablet internal memory space. Move apps to NAND flash. Uninstall useless apps. Delete useless files. Move files to the SD card. And reduce your email storage. If the internal storage is full and the NAND flash still has space, you can move the apps to the NAND flash. To do this, select apps. Then select the app you want to move, and select Move to NAND Flash. To uninstall useless apps, select the All Apps icon. Then touch and hold the app. You will notice the trash bin on the top right corner of the screen. Simply drag the app to the trash bin. Then select OK to confirm uninstall. To delete useless files or folders, select the All Apps icon. Then find the Explorer app and select it. For this example, we have the photo folder saved inside the internal memory under the DCIM folder. Navigate into the folder and select the photo folder you want to delete. Then touch and hold the folder. The editor options will appear. Select Delete and Confirm. To move a folder from your internal memory to the SD card, select the All Apps icon. Then find the Explorer app and select it. Simply navigate to your internal memory. Find the file or folder you want to move. Then touch and hold the file or folder. The editor options will appear. Select Move. Then navigate to your SD card. And then select the editor. And select Paste. You now moved a folder from your internal memory to the SD card. To better control your email storage, you can adjust the number of days that are synced. For this example, we have a Gmail account. You can select the options on the top right corner of the screen and adjust your email settings. Select Settings. Then select your account. And select Days of Mail to sync. We hope this tutorial was helpful to you. For more information, go to rcatablets.com.